Now to say this thing costs 500 pound is unbelievable. I did not expect that. I would expect. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing the stock Golf R against the JB4 tuned Golf R on the Draggy app to see 0 to 60 times and 60 to 100 times. Let's get into it. So a lot of you people know that I recently went over to Shack at Lounge Street Garage to get the JB4 fitted to the Golf. Now we got the custom map 6 put on which is one of the settings on the JB4 that allows you to tailor some of the boost settings and some of the you know the different sort of variables on there letting you get the most out of your car. Now since that video and since I've spoken to a lot of people after that a lot of people have been asking me to see what the differences are in the real world with the stock Golf R and the JB4 Golf R. Now it's very easy for me to sit here and say yes the JB4 Golf R is incredibly quick, it's a lot quicker than stock, you should get one. But we're going to be using the Draggy app today and Draggy is a telemetry app or device which is just down here. Um, there it is. So that's a little device that I'm just putting down just near the cubby holes down here and it records you 0 to 60, 0 to 30, 60 to 100, 100 to 200 kilometres an hour, 124 to 0, 60 to 0, it measures everything. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to go out and get some runs, I'm going to come back, we're going to talk about the differences, I need to sift through all of the different data logs because it logs absolutely everything. So if you take 10 seconds to get from 0 to 30 mile an hour, it's going to record it. So I have to do some sort of processing and, and optimising with that just to make sure I've got the right data, and then I'm going to sit down, we're going to get the data up, we're going to have a look at the differences, and hopefully you'll see the difference and it might sway you towards getting a JB4. But without further ado, I'm going to go to a spot where I can do a 0 to 60. I'm going to change the JB4 to put the car back into stock mode. I'm really not looking forward to that, but I'll meet up with you guys once we get there. Okay guys, so I'm not sure if the GoPro captured the stock 0 to 60. If it did, you'll have seen it. If it hasn't, this is why I'm here now. But we've got a 0 to 60 time of 4.77 seconds on a 0.52% slope. And it was uphill, I believe. So 0 to 10, 2.74, at the very, very beginning it did hesitate and it did not launch straight away. It wasn't the case where it was spinning, it felt like the throttle actually closed. But 4.7, 10 to 60 is not bad at all. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to try and get another run, just so we've got something to compare it against. There is Popo flying about, um, which is a bit annoying, but... What I'll do, I'll see if we can get another 0 to 60. Once we've got that one from stock, we're going to put it onto the JB4 Map 6, and then we'll have a look to see what the differences are in real world times. I've had to work out it's quite difficult on a Sunday morning to get a piece of road where you can do a 0 to 60. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to stick with the 4.77 seconds for stock. It's a good benchmark to then look what the JB4 can do. But we'll pull over, we'll get the JB4 set up and then we'll go for a 0 to 60 on that one. If people are curious about how to actually switch the JB4 as well, this is how quick it takes. So I'm pulled over, I'll click connect, it's loading services, it's validating the pin, it's doing the JB4 handshake. We go into settings and then we go to map, tap to modify, map 6, saving map, done. So now it's on the JB4 map 6 again, I'm going to find a bit of a spot and then we'll do a 0 to 60. So we've got a bit of a gap with the JB4. So we're going to go into sport mode, trash controls off. So we've, we've just got a verified time of 3.75 seconds. That's over a second quicker than the standard car. Now, to say this thing costs £500 is unbelievable. I did not expect that. I was expecting close to four seconds, but 3.75 seconds, that is insane. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and find a private road so I can do a 60 to 100 with a JB4, and I'll find some times off Draggy, because Draggy has a leaderboard, Draggy has all sorts of stuff on there where you can search. So, I'll see if somebody's done a 60 to 100 with a stock car, and then we'll have a bit of a roundup at the end. I'll put that on the screen right now so you can see it, but I'm extremely pleased with that. So I've just been speaking with Shaq who does the JB4 and I'm speaking with Ryan who lent me the Draggy. A couple of JB4s have gone 3.5, 3.4, but it takes a lot of doing. Now, as I mentioned, you've got to take in the variables here. It is damp, it is spitting 
a little bit and I've got bad tyres. So if I were to have PS4s, a lightweight wheel, I lost a bit of timber and I had less fuel, I'm pretty sure I'd see 3.5, 3.6s there as well. But that just goes to show the differences. Now, I'm just going to be heading back home now. If I can get 60 to 100 on a private road to the JB4, I will. But I'll catch up with you guys once I've done. Guys, so we found a bit of a private road. I managed to get a 60 to 100, a 0 to 100, and also an eighth mile as well. So the 60 to 100 was 5.34 seconds. 0 to 100 was 9.26 seconds. And the eighth mile was 7.77. Now, I've been speaking to Shaq, who obviously sees a lot of these JB4s go out and also looks after the Draggy Wars website. And them times are very, very good. Considering I've got shit tyres, I've also got quite a bit of fuel in. I obviously weigh quite a lot and I've all got I've got all my camera gear here as well. I reckon I should be able to get to 3.6, maybe pushing 3.5 to 60 miles an hour, which is very, very good. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's given you a very, very good idea as to the differences between a stock 0 to 60 and also a JB4 0 to 60. If you want to have a look at some more draggy times from different cars, stage 1, stage 2, different tuners, different hardware, then I'll link draggy walls down below. You've got, st you've got all the different areas, so you've got stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, 0 to 60, 60 to 100, etc. Now, if you want some more information on the JB4, I'll pop a link down below to Shaq's shop which is Lounge Street Garage you'll be more than happy to help you there's also a bolt on mods.co.uk as well that you can get the JB4 from as always if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel leave a like leave a comment let me know what your times are but until next time I'll see you then <laughs>